Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music, audio gear, and vinyl reviews. Today, we're checking out a brand new app called Pluto. This is going to allow you to quickly find the value of your record and collectibles. You're not gonna wanna miss this, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for the support. I've been having so much fun making these new videos for you guys. I've been trying to upgrade my quality as we go along. If you're new here, what we do is vinyl, music, audio gear, and eventually, hopefully I can start playing some of these guitars you see in the background on the channel. Uh, so basically anything with music, I'm on top of it. So today we're taking a look at a brand new app called Pluto. It's developed by the company Galisto, and if you're familiar with Galisto, it's a collectibles online system where you can log, track, see how much your collectibles are worth, how rare they are. So what we're looking at today is a lightweight, very fast version of that um, where you can quickly gauge the value of your vinyl records and other collectibles. So first off, what does this app do and what does it not do? So the current state of the app is literally a lightweight, super fast way to figure out how much your records are worth or how much a collectible you're interested in is worth. What is it not? This is not a full replacement for Discogs yet. So what this is great for is finding values lightning fast. It also offers technology that's not available in stuff like Discogs because it does image verification, meaning you can take a picture of a collectible and quickly search and find based off their algorithm, they can match the image to a collectible and tell you how much it's worth. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna go ahead and pull up another screen over here. I'm gonna scoot myself over and we're gonna do some live demos and show you how the app works the advantages, and then at the very end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what's coming and what's the future for Pluto. I've been in talks with the guys at Galisto who developed this, and I just wanted to know like what new feature enhancements are coming, what does the future look like for this app? So why don't we go ahead and dive in and check out Pluto. If you're looking for this on the App Store, it's gonna be P-L-U-U-T-O by Galisto. The demo I'm gonna be giving is on iOS. So first things first, go ahead and install the app on your phone, and then we're going to launch it. I'm gonna look for Pluto, launch the app here, and the first thing it pulls up, there's not really a sign-in screen, there's really nothing you have to worry about, it pulls the camera up instantly. So if you're in a store and you wanna see how much a record's worth, or if you wanna just quickly start cataloging things, after you do your first initial scan and put your information in, it instantly opens up the camera, which is pretty cool. So you have a few options right when you open this app up. There's text, and with the text, you can type in what you're looking for. So let's say I have a collectible camera. I can type in the model of the camera and click search. So let's just type in Canon uh, M50, which is the camera I use. And then it instantly pulled up a bunch of different Canon items and then I could click on one of them. And it tells me exactly how much it's worth in new condition. I can go back through the other listings and find like a used one and it gives you the estimated value here that you can find. So that's the text search. You can pretty much search anything you want. Then we have an image search. You can search my lights, or my picture of me here. Uh, and you can use the image search to basically take a picture of an item and see if within their image database, there's something that matches up with it. So if you have like a Ninja Turtles action figure, if you have a rare pressing of an album in a unique color, you might be able to pull something up using the image search. And then we have the barcode search which that's what I'm gonna be using today because the barcode search is pretty much foolproof. Um, you scan a barcode and it's going to pull up what you're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of my new arrivals that I have for vinyl. And we're gonna start with vinyl and start cataloging and seeing how much these records are worth that I just got. So the first thing I'm gonna catalog is a record from my new favorite subscription service, which is called Give Me Metal. I love getting pretty cool limited edition records once a month. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested. Uh, this is High on Fire's album, The Art of Self-Defense. So I'm gonna check this one out, open it up, and see if we can find it within the app. And it looks like this is on transparent blue. So what I'm gonna do is when I'm looking for this within Pluto, I wanna make sure that I'm going to find the transparent blue version. If I can't find the transparent blue version, I'll at least see if there's another pressing from this manufacturer uh, to see how much it's worth and if I can add it to my collection. I'm going to now scan the barcode, which the barcode is on the sticker. Oh, 
they couldn't find a match. So Pluto does not have this record in their database based off the barcode. So what I'm gonna do now is go back and do a text search. I'm gonna search for high on fire, the art of self defense. Oh, there we go, found it. So it looks like this one is on black. It's from the same manufacturer from Southern Lord. So that's black, that's not even limited edition. So I know this limited edition is definitely worth more. And I'm gonna go ahead, click on it to see how much it's worth, $45, $59 on the high end. So I'm gonna add this to my collection. All right, so what else do I have in my new arrivals? I have Haken or Haken, whatever you wanna call them, Haken Virus. This is a awesome prog album and I just got this for my birthday. So why don't we go ahead and see if we have this one available in the database. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to barcode. Scanning the barcode, here it is. So I have the 2LP version of this, plus CD, here it is. Nice, found it. There's this button called find on eBay, and it'll take you directly to eBay if you have the app installed and show you how much it's going for and pull up one of the most recent listings. So that's kind of cool too that you can Instantly, uh, they have some kind of API that's connected to eBay. So you can pull it in right away. This is uh, Tears for Fears, Rule the World. It's their greatest hits. So I can see on the back here, it was $34.98. Uh, my brother got me this, and this is the Made in France, uh, French pressing, French press. <laughs> All right, I found it instantly. Nice, but this is brand new sealed. Uh, seeing how my brother paid $34.98, he got a good deal on this. So let's go ahead and add it to my collection. We do one more here, and then we're gonna try some other items. I got Rush 2112, this is the audiophile repress of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the barcode. Hologram edition, this is it. Not bad, so I'm gonna add this to my collection. Cool. So you see at the top, it tells me what my total value is. So not a bad birthday, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, so why don't we go ahead and look for some rare collectibles. So here is my 1990s McFarlane uh, Crow action figure. I still have it in the case and it's in mint condition. So let's see if they have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the crow. See if I can get the light out of the way. So I just took a picture of my action figure. Use it, now it's scanning it right now. Loading, oh, here we go, found him. So this guy, pretty cool. Um, so, wow, this is actually pretty rare. I got this a few years ago. Um, actually, I got this over 10 years ago. My mom got it for me. Uh, she picked it up at you know a toy shop that has like rare old toys. So I never really thought it was worth much, but now that I looked it up, cool. I'm gonna add this to my collection. So that's the features of the app so far. Very simple, there's not a whole lot to the app. You can quickly scan a barcode, see how much something is worth. You can tell if you're getting ripped off at a record store or if you're at, let's just say, a collectible store, they have a baseball card or something else like that. If you wanna scan that item, see how much the average price is, you can have something to negotiate with. So, I mean, overall, it's pretty cool. It's not specific to vinyl, it could be any collectible, but there are some really nice updates coming to this platform. So the updates that are coming to this platform is they're going to implement a user login system so you can save your account. Say you get this app on multiple devices, you can now share your collection across the devices. That's pretty cool, that's coming. They're gonna have social sharing features on here. So if you wanna share your collection like you can with Discogs with some of your friends so they know what collectibles you have, what collectibles you don't have. That's also coming as well. They're adding a profile feature so you can edit your profile, put your upload your avatar, have a bunch of information about yourself. Um, so it's kind of more personalized and that way when you're sharing your music and inviting friends, they can see your profile and communicate with you on there. And there also is going to be features to organize your collection if there's different types of media that you have in there. So you can say, here's my vinyl, here's my other collectible toys, move, you know, so on and so forth as well as a feature to add items that aren't found. So you can take a picture of your item and add it to their database. And then you can, from there, link it to eBay or other sources to see how much it's sold for. 
So that is pretty much it when it comes to this app Pluto. If you wanna check it out, go ahead. I'm gonna put a link below. Remember to look up Pluto with two U's, P-L-U-U-T-O by Galisto, and check it out on the Android market, Google, and iOS. Again, this is great for record hunting. Pull this thing out while you're in store. If you're in Guitar Center and looking for gear, if you're anywhere, just this app is really great to quickly pull up items to see the average price. To get the average price, just tap on the green price that shows up when you scan an item. It'll show you the lowest it's sold for, the highest, and the average. You're gonna to wanna to go for that median price if you're buying something new. If you're getting something used, take a look at the lowest point and that gives you a negotiation uh, price to start with. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing how this app is gonna grow and how the feature enhancements are going to come in to make this app even better. If you're interested in my other playlist, you can check those out up here. I just did a video on some items that are great for pulling noise out of your records. So if you're having some issues with static and dust, please check out this video I linked up here. I also did another video on how to pimp out your storage collection area, add some LED lights, some organizational things to be more efficient with finding your records. You check that up there. If you dig this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. That way I know what videos you guys like, what videos you don't like, and I really appreciate the support. Okay guys, until next time, I'm Michael, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, and keep rocking.